Hello and welcome, this is Solent Sport here for the 445 Bulletin. Golf first and a former world number one is returning to golf for the first time in 10 months. Tiger Woods hasn't played his last tournament in Dubai where he withdrew having back spasms. But the 14 time major winner says surgery in April has cured the pain and he is ready to compete once more. I was trying to, to try and go away from the pain and I was trying to build, uh, trying to sleep. Uh, which I hadn't done in a very long time because of the things I've been dealing with. As my back improved, I've been able to start sleeping again because I, I don't have the nerve pain. On to the cycling, a British cyclist will race in the 2018 Gore d'Italia on the back of winning two Grand Tours. Chris Fume will be racing in the Tour for the first time in seven years, last attending in 2010. The 32-year-old Team Sky rider says the prospect of him holding all three Grand Tour titles added a whole new motivation to his game. Now to football and a revamped tour tournament is turning a few heads. The Checker Trade Trophy, also known as the Football League Trophy, changed its format in 2016 to allow Premier League academies a chance to play the lower league sides. The new format has seen attendances drop and left fans in anger. But ex league midfielder Jean Alexander Pierre, Jean Pierre Alexander, believes the format is a good platform for the youngsters to sign. Um, yeah, it's a good idea because you've got players who are physically ready and technically ready to play amongst first team players in like the Premier League and stuff. But then they're not getting a chance because clubs are going out and spending millions on players who are more experienced and obviously they have a better reputation than a player might have at a club coming from youth level. Boxing and a heavyweight fight could be held in Barcelona later this year. Anthony Joshua's proposed fight against Joseph Parker could be taking place at Barcelona's new camp as New Zealanders' promotional team aim for a spectacular event. Nothing is confirmed as of yet, but if this plan comes through, it will surely be a spectacle to remember as Parker looks to dethrone the popular Brit. Now to cricket and an English bowler believes there's nothing to worry about. Warwickshire's Chris Rokes believes ahead of the second test that the team is good enough. The team is in a good place. This comes after a heavy 10-wicket defeat in the first test at Brisbane. The first bowlers sees no reason to panic ahead of the first ever day-night test, day-night attitude test. Two sessions out of three are still in daylight pretty much, so um, yeah, it doesn't affect it a huge amount during that time. So that's what we found during, during that warm-up game here. So, you know, fingers crossed that can help us as bowlers. Tennis and a former 10, sped, 10 seed is targeting a return in the new year. K. Nick Shorey suffered a wrist injury in August, ending his 2017 season at the Cincinnati Masters. The Japanese star was ranked number nine in the world and is aiming to start challenging for major titles in 2018 upon his return. Finally, to, finally to Formula One, where A brand is returning to Formula One for the first time in 32 years. The Alfa Romeo brand has agreed a new partnership with the Swiss-based Sauber team. The move strengthens links between Sauber and Ferrari, which is a sister brand of Fiat owned Alfa Romeo. The move will materialise next time of the season. That's all for now. Join us later for your next Solent Sport update. Beginning. Go for Goal first and a former world number one is returning to golf for the first time in 10 months. Tiger Woods hasn't played since his last tournament in Dubai where he withdrew after having back spasms. But the 14-time major, 14 major winner says surgery in April has caused the pain to...